Going back to Indiana again today, and we're talking with the athletic director for the new Duggar Union uh, school system that's in the process right now. A lot of things going on with me, and right now I have Steve Hall. And first of all, Steve, good to have you along. Uh, thank you. I appreciate the time. You know, it's it's one of those things that uh, it's kind of like watching a TV movie, what you guys are doing down there at Duggar. And one of the things you are uh supposed to be doing right now is getting ready for next uh, school season for the 2014-2015 school year, and they kind of threw you a curveball right away, because when they decided to close uh, Duggar Union Schools, they basically told everybody you weren't going to be around next year, so a lot of cancellations, so now you've got to go out and schedule a lot of games and a lot of different sports. Yeah, we've pretty much uh, taken the current schedules and just basically erased everything we've had on there, and uh, started from scratch, and uh, spent the last three weeks on the phone and email with um, athletic directors here uh, locally and, and you know, all the way over in Illinois, which a lot of um, athletic directors in Indianapolis. And it, it's just really a blank slate, and we're trying to fill it in and, and uh, just get things rolling, especially for the fall sports, you know, football, volleyball. And, um, we got to get going. we got to be proactive, so. Now, football is going to be the tough one for you, isn't it, so far? Because I know you guys were in a conference, and when they found this out, they basically just wrote you out of the conference schedule, didn't they? No, yeah, they did. But, you know, um, that that's really been the uh, the model for all sports because, um, you know, I mean, athletic directors here, you know, what I found out, they're, they're doing their jobs. They want to have vacancies. Um, they got to fill them, you know, and um, they're doing – they're doing what they're supposed to do, and I don't, you know, I don't blame anybody for that. Because, you know, if I was in that situation, I'd be, you know, I'd be taking care of my school too. So, uh, there's no hard feelings there. It's just, you know, they got to do what they got to do. So, actually, football is coming along a lot better than I expected. Of course, we only got nine dates, you know, and we've got right now six of them filled. Um, That's pretty good. Couple. That's pretty good. Yeah, yeah. We've had to reach out to. Uh, quite a few people, you know, different schools and maybe some schools we haven't played before and do a little, uh, do some things differently. And But that'll be all right. It's a new challenge and it's a new day, new school. Uh, I think the kids are going to gonna love it. You know, when you look at Duggar, give, give an idea of where Duggar's actually at so people that are listening maybe, because we do have a lot of, since we're in Illinois, we have a lot of people from Illinois that listen to this. Tell us where Duggar's at a little bit and what you're kind of looking at uh, region-wise. Well, Duggar is located, it's actually southwest Indiana. It's, uh, we're probably, from the Illinois border, we're probably 15 minutes. Mm-hmm. Uh, we're, we're just 15 minutes east of the Illinois border. Um, we're, if you know where Terre Haute, Indiana is, yep. that's a good, that's probably the center metro area that we're in. I mean, we're 35 minutes, you know, southeast of uh, Terre Haute and um, maybe 25 minutes north of Vincennes right on US-41. So we're right close to the Illinois border, but we're right, it's really considered southwest Indiana. So um, that's, I don't know if you know your map, you can look at yeah. it. I was at Google it. So, um, but, uh, yeah, we're, we're in a pretty broad area, I think. Um, but the, we're a small school, and that makes a little different. You know, we get, there's a lot of bigger schools that, you know, we're not able to play. We probably shouldn't be playing, but uh, not right now, but. You're a Hoosier size school. You're kind of like Hickory a little bit that size of school, wouldn't you say? Yeah, yeah. There's uh, there's very very good comparisons there. Yeah. And you know, recently there was a school in Indiana that was left go. I think it was the West Central Conference was uh, disbanding, and so they have gone over and joined a conference in Illinois. And also, there's a school called Mount Carmel that's in Illinois that's an Indiana conference. So that that kind of scheduling is not unique, especially down in your area. Because I know there's a couple of schools that do that already. So that should help you out a little bit. Yeah, we're gonna. I mean, we've we've come. Uh, I've come to figure out here. We're gonna have to turn over every stone to yeah. get. Uh, game schedule, whether we got to go to Illinois or, uh, you know, Indianapolis area. I mean, we've, I know in the past they've done games over in, you know, Ohio. Um, I just, I got on your site and, um, you know, checked out some openings for Kentucky. So I think, you know, people understand um, the first couple years, you know, we're going to have to do um, some different things. We're going to have to turn over, you know, every stone and, and do some unique things like with football. We've got something coming up on a Monday night 
which um, is a little different than what people are used to. But I think it can be fun. You know, it can be, you know, it builds this Monday Night Football and something different and unique, and the kids, I think, will really get into it. So uh, we're going to have to do some different things um, to get these skills done, but I have no doubt we're going to do it. Yeah, and we're going to put your uh, name out there and your phone number and how to contact you. That'll help a little bit, too. But when you look at all this, there's other things, too. You have to make sure you have coaches in place and uh, transportation and things like that. Now, will you be working with Tom Peeler, who was just recently named the superintendent, to handle some of those things? Oh, yeah. Yeah, Tom uh, Tom and I go back from the, the very first day he was here. And uh, I uh, I like Tom a lot. He's, uh, I tell you what, he is one smart individual. Um we couldn't we couldn't do this without Tom, um, and you can ask uh, anybody here in town. He's just been the catalyst, and uh, we're very 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 grateful for Tom and, and what he brings to the table. So yeah, we'll be leaning on him. Uh, I think I think he just was he was named superintendent, so he's not he's not going away. His, his job's going to get uh, bigger and better for sure. So. Now, one of the things is, will your school colors remain the same? You're going to keep the, I think you're the Bulldogs, right, which is a great name, because I went to a school that was the Bulldogs. So do you have to worry about any of that stuff, or is that all going to stay in place? No, all that's going to stay in place. Um, same colors, same, you know, mascot, same, I mean, same buildings, everything. Um, yeah, we're not changing any of that. That's shoot, That goes back for 1921, I think, with the, the uh, walk says on the building and, and the research I've done, that's pretty accurate. So, um, yeah, that, none of that's changing. So that was very important when this all first came up. I think there were some opportunities to do something different, you know, and maybe, you know, change names and colors and stuff. And, yeah, there won't be any part of that here. You you like that stuff. I don't blame you. That's great. Bulldogs is a good name, too. And when you look at that, you, are you in a conference now? I knew you were in conference for football, but were you in a conference for the other sports? Uh, yeah, SWIAC, Southwest Indiana Athletic Conference. Um, and that, that right there has, it's not really been an issue, but some of the, some of the emails I've gotten here recently have just been, you know, I mean, they, they've kind of got their guard up, you know, yeah. I and mean, all they really know, and I'm talking schools and athletic directors, all they really know right now is that Union High School, as they know it, uh, as of, you know, either the school year is closed and, that's kind of the way they're playing it. Um, but what I've tried to explain in my phone calls and emails and things uh, is that, you know, hey, look, this is that's where we were. Uh, this is where we're going. Um, and, you know, this is what, this is what we're trying to do. And it's going to happen, you know, but we, you know, obviously we're not signing contracts and things. We've, we've got to have kind of a gentleman's hand, handshake, mm-hmm. you know, gentleman's agreement. And, and that's worked out okay with some, but some, you know, they want to have, you know, hey, until you're a member, I just say, hey, you know, and I see it on paper, you know, and I see a school building, and I see students at the school. I mean, we're not, you know, we're not really going to do it again. And that's fine. I mean, that's fine. I, I understand that totally. So uh, a couple of years when we're all set, we'll be, we'll be back at it, I think, with the local schools. Now uh, you talked about the IHSAA. You're in talks with them. Do they have give you any timeline, or is there any schedule when uh, that will be solved, or what the the outlook will be on that situation? No, I haven't got anything on that yet. I know. See, that goes back to Tom Peeler. That's mm-hmm. kind of one of those things that we're relying on Tom to uh, keep us updated on. I know the uh, application has been submitted and the fees have all been submitted and everything. So. That was done, I think, three weeks ago. Wow. So and as far as timeline and when they really, you know, send that out, you know, okay, everything, I don't know. Um, I, I just, I know it'll happen. Really, because, I mean, the school is a transitional school. Mm-hmm. There's, you know, we've, we've been around so long, and when we're not doing anything different except instead of being under the Northeast School umbrella, we're now under the Duggar Union School Corporation umbrella, so... I think things will eventually will just will go smoothly and things will get worked out and uh, there won't be any problems. So that's why we got to do we got to be proactive now. So before I let you before I let you go, Steve, how is the community accepting all this? Because I know you're a small. I've lived in a small town. I know how that can be. You getting a lot of support. You almost have to be having a lot of community support to make this work. Oh yeah, I mean uh, there's fundraisers going on now. Um, yeah, every just about every day I get on Facebook and check it out or 
and there's emails or signs around town, fundraisers and things. And, you know, we've been having um, meetings every month, sometimes every two weeks. We've, we've got a meeting coming up this Sunday for um, athletics starting next year. And it involves kids from all the way from K, you know, mm-hmm. all the way up to, you know, senior high. So we want to get the kids um, – involved, we want to keep them involved, we want to keep them here in, in Duggar, and we want to let them know that we're going to be here, and, we, and they need to know the plan, I mean, not just what they hear from, you know, TV or Facebook or the paper, we want them to know what's really going on, and, um, you know, that's kind of where we're at, yeah, the community sport, I, I, I haven't heard negative comments really at all, I think there's just not, they're just not sure, you know, they yeah. don't want to believe, and and they want something to grasp onto, and um, but everybody's been supportive. Yeah, now, they don't. They know if the school goes away, then you know the community dies, and that's just a fact of life. And before I let you go, this sounds like a really good TV movie. All this stuff you guys are going through. Who's going to play you in that movie, Steve? Do you know? You want Tom Cruise, somebody like that? <laughs> uh, you know, maybe uh, the guy from King of Queens. That's what I. There you go. I, I think that's, uh, I get told that. Uh, my wife <laughs> thinks that. I don't know if I'm as funny as him, though, but, um, yeah, probably Kevin James, I would say. So, there we go. You, you know, yeah. I'm sure those guys at Milan High School when, never had the idea that someday Hoosiers would be the biggest movie in the world based on what they did. So you never know, do you, Steve? You never know. They were just out there uh, competing and uh, giving it everything they've got, and, uh, that was part of their daily life, and I'm hoping kids here will will kind of grasp onto that too. We're going to talk a little bit about that Sunday, I think, too. So yeah, and the people of Medora too. I know the people of Medora are actually following this because I have contact with them. So Medora's in basically they're in a situation that could happen to them, the same thing that happened to you. And that movie just came out, the documentary. So maybe that's good timing all the way around too. I think it is. I, I haven't watched the movie, but I did watch the trailer. And uh, I was like, man, I got to get this movie because this is yeah, this is awesome. Of course, I think all that that money goes to their school, so um, sounds like they're being proactive too. They know what's coming. Yep, so. yep, yeah. All right, we've been talking to Athletic Director Steve Hall for the new uh, Duggar Union Community School as they build a new high school and a new athletic program. For StatelineSportsHub.com, this is Dave Schmidt.